Now, let's set the Millermatic 255 or Multimatic 255 up for aluminum welding with a spool gun. Please take a few minutes to review important safety information and tips, and remember to wear appropriate safety gear during setup and welding. To connect the spool gun, first make sure your machine is powered off and open the side door. Remove the bolt from the drive casting, then take the lugged end of the spool gun cable and insert it through the opening in the front of the machine and connect to the wire drive assembly with the bolt that was previously removed. Tighten with a wrench. Then, route 10 pin control cable into the wire drive compartment and connect to the 10 pin connector that is located below the wire drive assembly. Twist the collar to tighten. To be able to route the gas hose through the back of the machine to connect to the gas bottle, you will need to drill a 1 inch hole through the rear plastic bezel. Next, take the spool gun gas hose and run it through the front panel and out the hole in the back panel. For aluminum welding, you will need to use 100% argon shielding gas. Connect the free end of the gas hose to the argon gas regulator. Tighten with a wrench. While the machine is still off, connect the drive lead into the positive receptacle and turn clockwise to tighten. Insert the work cable into the negative receptacle and turn clockwise to tighten. Now the machine is set to DCEP or electrode positive. Turn the machine on and pull the spool gun trigger. The gun on demand feature will detect the spool gun. Now thread the wire. Open the cover of the spool gun canister and remove the nozzle. Unspool 8 to 12 inches of wire. Snip and straighten the wire. Then slide the wire into the inlet tube and tighten to the drive rolls. Now pull the trigger of the gun and allow the wire to feed making sure it travels to the barrel of the gun and feeds out the end. Replace the spool gun cover and remember to select the contact tip that matches your wire diameter. Reinstall the proper contact tip and nozzle. When correctly set up, the tip will be recessed 1 8 inch. You will want to set the drive roll tension on your spool gun to low to minimize any distortion of the wire. Place your gun tip over an insulated surface, like this wood block, and feed the wire until it feeds consistently and curls on the wood without slipping. Adjust the tension as needed. Snip the wire, then close the spool gun cover. Finally, select the type of aluminum wire, wire diameter, and material thickness if you are using the Auto Set Elite feature. Or if you are using manual mode, adjust your voltage and wire feed speed. Remember the wire feed speed control is on the handle of the spool gun. As a setup guide, refer to the parameter chart located inside the side door. Setting up the Millermatic 255 or Multimatic 255 to weld aluminum with a spool gun is as easy as that.